Good Saturday morning. Uh, I'm gonna play the Neosons, but I was in um, the Landgrab household looking in on them, and this happened. <laughs> so, uh, <t> chaos. <laughs> So I didn't know this was going to happen actually. Um, I gave up one dog because uh, Mary Sue over here, she has the lifetime wish to have six pets reach the top career uh, level. And their oldest dog, Jake, he lost his job. And since he's an elder, he cannot get new job. He cannot get another job. Uh, apparently I googled it. <laughs> I didn't understand why there wasn't an option, but now apparently another dog died um, So like they oops <laughs> They had uh, where is it is it this one we are left with Benny and Susie. Oh, yeah so over here is Max Which is soon to be no more apparently Poor doggo Death is coming for him. So I can't exit now. I guess I can't. You see, I can't see, save <laughs> while someone is dying. Very sad. I got a message. I think it was his time. I think he's very old. Oh, Susie is so sad. I just figured out like that... <laughs> that animation though. I figured out that um, four dogs was too much for them. They couldn't keep them happy enough to go to work. Well, I guess here lies Max. I guess uh, Mary Sue will just find him there when she gets back from work and maybe she will get another dog because I was going to try to have three dogs because she is also nearing her end of oh well she has some some days left but I don't know if I can uh, change the resolution by the way uh, I got a comment last time that the interface was kind of small I don't know if this will work because I hacked the game to get another resolution and um, it might not do anything. <laughs> uh, even though the option is there. Um, did I save? <laughs> Oops. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't think anything meaningful happened. Now I have saved. I probably need to hack the game to get all the text to show up bigger, but you'll just have to watch me on a bigger screen. I, tr I try to uh, um, read everything out so that <clears throat> there is not no confusion, but sometimes I just I'm so used to seeing some messages that I, I don't even read them. Um, so <laughs> then I'm, I might not read them out loud. <laughs> right. Now let's go to the news. And since today when I'm talking about things on the screen, I actually have the screen up. Yay. Oh, also I've been really bad, uh, about uploading everything on uh, on youtube for my archives and uh, you can go to supervideo.com uh, and find my youtube channel uh, where i do try to upload things that i have streamed if you want to watch all the streams and see where everything started and everything but i haven't done that um for the last few streams i I did, however, before I started this stream, I uploaded everything and I'm going to handle it. Although, <laughs> there's copyright claims, of course there is. So there might be, some, it might take some time for me to ask YouTube to mute the copyrighted material. Um, 
because I'm trying to use their uh, beta version of only muting the song. And I don't know how that function does really, but it takes a while to process. So, well, let's go into the nuisance family now. They live over here. They have always lived here. They were not adopted. No, they have not always lived there. They lived in an apartment first. Or was that in my other neighborhood? I can't really remember. <laughs> um, but I think they live. I might have moved them here directly. Um, they were adopted uh, according to the lore. They were adopted, uh, but their adoptive parents died. Uh, but in their family tree, they have no parents. So they're just orphans, uh, straight up. So Gavin and Ginger took care of the other kids. Um, they were teens when the game started. And now they are adults. And now Brittany is also adult and she's back home. Whoops. Because um Yeah, Brittany is not a Newson <laughs> original. She is the adoptive daughter of uh Herb and what was it? Coral Aldi. Well, that we can check here. Yeah, Coral Aldi. They adopted three kids from the orphanage. Really? No. Yes, three quick kids from the orphanage. Brittany, Chandler and little Chloe. And Chandler and Chloe is currently in university. And Brittany just got expelled from university. And now she's back here because she is engaged to Gavin Newsom. And he wants to marry her. <laughs> she has no such wish. But she wants to reach logic level uh, 5. And she's unemployed. But we might buy them a uh, table. Also, Randy <laughs> just moved out. Because... Um, because of Lucy Burb, <laughs> she destroys everything. Um, where do we find the... It's not in here, is it? It's in here. Uh, it's knowledge. It's not knowledge. Is it a game? It's a game. <laughs> Sometimes the categories eludes me. Let's just put that out here. Well, actually, do I want it? Do I want it to put in? Do I want to put it in here? I might because then they can play even if there's a thunderstorm going on. <laughs> there. Now you can practice. It's silent, so it's fine. So, uh, Ginger. <laughs> actually got married to Randy last time I played them but then Lucy wanted to get engaged to Randy so she broke them up last stream <laughs> I had to um, cheat a little bit because the game was not behaving as I was expecting it to and after all that work I felt like it was inevitable so he cheated on Ginger in front of her and she got upset. Now she hates him, but she still wants a baby because she's pregnant. And I don't remember if Brand is the father, so we'll f find out. Um, I don't remember what stage she is in either. We can find out, I think. Do No, this is not the adjuster. Here it is. Uh, is it under MISC? Pregnancy scanner. She is pregnant and she has been pregnant for 52 hours. And the number of babies is expected is one. 
Oh, well, good to know. So they are pregnant for 72 hours, so that means that there's 20 hours left. So, almost a day. I think it's 20. Is it 72 hours? Or is it 75 hours? Might be 75. Anyway, everyone is kind of asleep except Brittany because she just moved in from college and she is like all out of sorts. Oh, Georgia is out looking through the telescope. Well, that's dangerous. And she wants to go to college. Wait, people want to go to college. <laughs> all right. Okay. Yes, of course. So I think Garrett also wants to go to college. Both of them wants to go and they are, where are they? They are both 18 and according to my rules that I have here on wani.se, oh, you can't see it. It's, well, okay. So it's wani.se and then just click yourself through Sims 2 and then rules for rotational play. If you want to follow my rules, not every rule is written in here because I forget which, which ones I don't have and which ones I need. So <laughs> um, it's fine. Just send me a message if you wonder anything. But um, here we are. So the rules for going to college, I wanted the grades to actually mean something. So what it does is if you have an A, you can go to college when you're 18. And they are 18 right now. So what I also need to check is how they are synced with college. They are on four days left and college is also four days left in my spreadsheet. <laughs> so, um, So that means that if if I move them in now, they will not be out of sync. So instead of doing that, Brittany, and potentially get get you know uh, abducted by aliens, you can call uh, college and see if you will get any scholarships. Very important. She has some junk in her uh, in her inventory. Uh, we will apply for scholarships, and then we might as well like review the. <laughs> uh, oh, granted! Congratulations, Georgia! Do you qualify for SimCity Scholars Grant if you maintain your excellent grades? Then you will receive a grant of 1,000 simoleons towards your next semester in college. That is going to come in handy. And also she got the Orphanage, Orphan Sims Assistance Fund. You will receive a grant of 1,500 towards your next semester in college. I don't think she'll get anything more than that. I think if they max out a skill, they can get a grant for that, but that's really hard to do. <laughs> oh, Brittany wasn't in, mood, in the mood to play chess. Well, that's bad. Okay, so her total scholarship value is 2,500. That is good to know. Uh, I might as well just move her out now. People are not awake. She can scold the cat for destroying the furniture first. <laughs> it will be 7 o'clock quite soon, so... I'll just move her out. I think someone will see her off or something. Chamba. Chamba no, we, we need to like say goodbye. <laughs> Who does he like the, the most? Uh, Ginger. Because Ch Garrett is going with her. 
Okay, wake up, Ginger. I'm going to college. No, not Gossy up. Can I wake her up? Oh my goodness. Just pretend she's waking her up. <laughs> Goodbye, cat. I'm going to college now. It's been fun. She was just a toddler when the game started. And now she's going off to college. Crumb Nubla, I'm going to college, baby. Talk to the belly. <laughs> She's going to say goodbye to the the baby. Oh, uh, Ginger needs to eat. Oh, you can eat soon. At least you're awake now. What's wrong with you then? He did not want to play chess. Why not? Practice. It's fine now. I don't know. But, uh, so Ginger is like suddenly single and having a baby, but it's fine, I think, because she has her brother here uh, with his soon to be wife. They will help with the baby. It's fine. Um, she doesn't have any wants to get with someone, but. She does have a relationship with John Burb. <laughs> so that would be a nice uh, revenge uh, against Lucy if she like stole John, I think. <laughs> My Sims, like, it's lucky. We are lucky that we are not living in the Sims world. It would be chaos. So move to college. And we also need to do this for Garrett, but it's fine. We don't not need to hurry. Georgia is about to leave this household and move to college. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Uh, she doesn't. If she doesn't have anything in the bank, she doesn't bring anything. I think. Um, if she doesn't have any money when she's done with college, she can move back here. <laughs> if there's room, we'll see. They can transfer money. It's fine. Goodbye. Oh no, I need pictures. <laughs> she's she's out here in her pajamas. Like no need to get changed or anything. Uh, like it so. Did you know that if you take a screenshot with a camera function in Sims 2, you get really crappy pictures? <laughs> Because <laughs> it's not made. When they made it, they never imagined I would play on this resolution. <laughs> so there's so many things that are like... This interface is kind of small, but it's it's fine for my eyes, but uh, your screen might be very much smaller than mine. So you... Oh, here's John. Hello, John. He's a... Why are you angry with me? I haven't done anything to you except for marrying someone else. You know, did you get upset by that? Well, that will put a stopper in my plans. <laughs> I don't... Now she wants to fall in love with John. Well, she better apologize. Um, how do I do that? Apologize. Now, I don't think I have the mod makes it so that apologizing actually removes the fury. Oh, he... He just came over to break up. Well, that's nice, John. Really nice. Now, her wish to fall in love with John is 5,000 and the baby is 8,000. So I don't really want to switch it out. Uh, we'll just hope it stays there. What, 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 how will I get him to come over? Can I just call him over now? Well, she needs to eat first. Otherwise, she'll die. And that will not do anyone any good. Uh, Gavin wants to get married. We can do that later. Garrett wants to go to college. We can do that now. <laughs> so call college three times, I guess. Oh, not Sim. Call college. Call college. Because you gotta apply for scholarship. And re oh, there's a phone here. And review scholarships. No, don't go to school. Skip that. <laughs> uh, 
Yes, you have an A. You can go to college. Go, go. And Ginger... This Ginger... It feels so weird to me that she's called Ginger. She has black hair. <laughs> so apply for scholarship. And... Garrett, you do not qualify for any additional scholarships. I think he has already done that. And there was a list of scholarships that you can get, but I'm not going to pursue it, so I didn't read it. <laughs> so, review. And I hope he was managed to go to college without peeing his pants. He has the SimCity Scholars Grant and... The orphan assistance fund exactly like his sister. Now these adopted children, like you can tell they're not biologically related, but in the family tree, obviously they're sisters and brothers. And like they come in pairs like um uh, there was two toddlers, two children, and two teens when the game started. And I'm wondering if they carry the, the twin gene because they have a sibling with the same age. Or if that's separate. I don't know how it works. <laughs> so, let's move him to college. There might be a separate token for twins. I don't know. Garrett is about to leave his household and move to college. Do you want to do this? Yes. The tax is here. I don't remember. Like, I might have, like, uh, given them money on their bank accounts. I don't remember. We can check his. He has 2,000. All right. Okay. Um, there, now that they are out, we want to save <clears throat> and we want to move them into the, the college um, household, the dorms, because uh, then there's a phone in there so that it is possible then to call them. While they are in the bin, they are going to be in the bin. We go over to Mission University, where everyone goes to university in this same. They're in the bin, and right now you can't call them. So if you have a wedding, for instance, you can't invite them, I think. So it is best just to move them in. Who's this? All right, he's, he's paused. <laughs> this is a townie that I had to move out of the way. But these two, they each have 3,000. That's good to uh, remember. I'm going to note that in my spreadsheet. Uh, George and Garrett. Brought 3,000. There. And we'll put them in the spreadsheet. Here's the spreadsheet. We'll put Georgia and Garrett in university and put the order number to minus two. There. And run the sorting script. <laughs> because, uh, of course, you have to have a sorting script. I w we're going to play with the Broke family, but they're not recorded according to my rules. There we go. That's why they are on, on top. So now we can just merge these households. Like so. They are in there. They haven't aged up yet, but that's fine. They will age up the second I load that lot, but we're not doing that right now. I always play <laughs> Some of the household lost, like the orphanage and the university and the prison. Because other sims might want to move in. 
oh man, this household was so full for before, but now it's only three sims. Soon to be four, though. And we'll see if uh, we get any more. There, now that that's done. Um, did you eat something? Did you finish eating or did you run out? We actually finished eating. Oh no, whose homework is this? We don't have kids with homework. So it should be safe to delete these. Now here's a funny thing. You're not allowed to delete homework. But we know this homework doesn't belong to anyone. Do we have any more? So what you do... <laughs> you do uh, move objects on. But... You're still not allowed to delete it. So what you do then is you take like the cheapest surface that you can find. Oop, no, not that one. Maybe it has to be a dinner table. Uh, put this. Where did it go? There. And then you put the homework on it and then you can delete it. Here we go. So now we don't need to see a uh, homework lying around. What is this? Is this? Oh, this is part of the goal. Okay. So now, I guess, do we have work? He works from 3 p.m. So it's, it's quite suitable that he will uh, throw a wedding party right now. Right away. And we'll just uh, invite... <clears throat> you can stop playing. <laughs> we'll invite every news we know about. And... Uh, I don't know. Like Georgia, <laughs> she just moved out, come back. And Gabriella, and oh, is it possible? Oh, it's actually sorted on the last name. Fantastic. Okay, uh, but, but, but where's N? There, news on Gallagher and Garrett. And since it's uh. He's marrying an oldie. We should uh, invite Chandler over. And where's Chloe? Uh, did she marry or something? No? Oh, she's right there. <laughs> <coughs> well, sometimes. Eyes don't work. Uh, okay, so now that we have invited every news on end, uh, all the, that we uh, could find, <laughs> let's go w with the people we like, like Orlando over here. Uh, we can't invite Professor Carla because she is in prison right now, so we'll skip her. Um, and now we can't invite anyone else. I think this is right. Okay. But since Ginger wants to fall in love with John, she might call him and ask him over. And then everyone needs to change. You can't look like this. Why isn't there a dresser in here? That won't do. Oh, that's not dressers. Here we go. I am in the mindset that they don't have much money, so I'm, I keep buying the cheapest stuff. But they're not really out of money, are they? I don't know. But you, you can... You have nothing in your room. That's sad. You can also have a dresser. <laughs> Change into formal. <clears throat> I 
I don't know if John will come over. Where is he? Sometimes it's much easier to sort on names. I wish we had this functionality of sorting in The Sims 4. <laughs> oh, it's so good. John Burb, come over please. John is at work until 3 p.m. Oh, well, that's unfortunate. Sorry about that. Stop that. And you also need to change. Whoever gets to it first, I guess. She gained a lot. Now she wants to gain even more logic skill points. She wants to talk to Gavin and she wants to flirt with Gavin and she wants to give a back rub to Gavin. But she, she doesn't want to um, get married. That's weird. Also, I haven't fixed her age. Normally when Sims get out of college, they're unsynced age-wise. Did I put a little notice on that? Brittany. He should be adult. Oh. And there should be 33 days until she... Uh, no. Yes. It should. And there is. So that was lucky. <laughs> oh, here's Chloe. Hello, Chloe. I don't remember her origin. I, I think I just find her, found her in, uh, in the game and she was put in the orphanage and then she was adopted. There we go. Uh-huh. Gallagher and Chandler is apparently having some kind of issues. Well, that's too bad. <laughs> Let's hurry up and get married. I don't know. Oh, oh we should buy them a, um, a wedding cake. I'm just gonna put it uh, ceremoniously over here in the nice kitchen. We should redecorate. <laughs> I don't know. It's fine. Maybe at some point she will want to get a job or she could just be like a stay at home mom to Ginger's baby, I guess. If she doesn't get pregnant herself. Aww. No time to spare. <laughs> well, they have been engaged for quite some time. <laughs> and now that they're both out of college, will that happen? Uh, we will do the other sim because I'm very traditional. <laughs> so this is now Brittany Newson. Uh, I will update that. Newson. And I th I have a um where is it? There it is. Here's the family tree. So do I have Brittany in here? Yes, I do. So I can add a partner to her. Add. Is he in the tree? I don't think he's in the tree. Wait. I had Brittany in there. I didn't check if we have uh, Gavin. I don't think so. No. So we'll add a new partner and Gavin. I can't write. Gavin, new son. Male. He is alive. <laughs> and she is now. Okay, I'll, I'll just put Aldi there and new son. There we go. Now the new son family is connected to my um, very complicated tree uh, uh, over here. Like you, you could like traverse and get very far in this tree. 
<laughs> like, in the end, all the... Oh, wait, if I turn this lamp on, my face might get color. Maybe. <clears throat> if you play long enough, <laughs> every sim gets related to every other sim. Uh, that's just the way it is. Well. Look at these two. It's Betty and Coral broke. Um, the children of Ang Angela and Dustin. And they have a really bad economic situation going on. I don't know what I'll do with them. <laughs> they might actually lose their children. I don't know. I'll figure it out somehow. Anyway, now he's all happy. He wants to go on vacation and I might do that off camera. I don't know. He wants to influence someone to serve a meal. Well, uh, Randy, <laughs> you were living here up until recently. Can we uh, influence you? No, I can't. Serve a meal? Serve meal. There you go. That's what I'm gonna do. And then we're gonna cut the cake. Look at Chloe cleaning up. <laughs> Whenever I click somewhere that is not the game, the sound stops. I don't really like that. There's probably a setting somewhere. I really love her dress. It's so, it's so cozy and stuff. Did she randomize that? I think so. Oh, cute. Now someone is calling to congratulate the happy couple. Fantastic. Well, she wants to flirt with Gavin, so maybe we should have her do that. Uh, I guess, Ginger, you can answer the phone, maybe? What are you doing? Is something happening over here or not? Hey, Ginger, is Brittany available to talk? Wait, why does this brook co person keep calling everyone? Um, I don't think she's available to talk right now. <laughs> um, I was trying to have her flirt with Gavin. Did she do it or not? I don't know. <gasps> now she wants to have a baby. Well, we can arrange that, I hope. We are going to go and relax. Like, why wait until the party is over? We can just do it now. <laughs> Ask Kevin to join. There and try for baby and uh, I'm usually I usually note in my spreadsheet when someone tries for, for baby so I'm gonna note that Brittany has a TFB try for baby number one on Thursday they are only allowed to do one try per person and day so she tries with Gavin right now uh, if Gavin also has a wish at some point to have a baby, he can also initiate a try for baby. But usually it's only one of them. <laughs> and he's a knowledge sim, so he's not thinking about that right now. 
He wants to learn about physiology. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have them go on vacation after uh, the stream. I'm gonna lock that in. But he wants to sit around and study physiology. Fun party animal, you are. There we go. She also wants to go on vacation. Oh, if she's pregnant, I'm not gonna go because that's uh, the pregnancy doesn't progress during a vacation, so they just go around feeling miserable to no avail. But I'll, I'll scan for that before I decide to go. <laughs> oh. And also, um, like I could do it on stream. Should we go? Should we go on our honeymoon? Uh, I, I guess we'll... Um, usually I, I don't check if they are pregnant, but I will do it. Usually I cheat. <laughs> so, you know, I keep saying usually I don't do that and then I do it anyway. Uh, oops. Yeah, she is pregnant. They're not gonna go. All right. Okay, no vacation for you. Just lock the physio physiology thing in instead. And stop sleeping because there's a party going on. <laughs> All the host people are asleep. This is a rocking party. Stop that. Uh, you go entertain your guests. Entertain. He seems sad. <laughs> Poor Gallagher. I don't remember, did he? Is he still in college? I can't keep track of all the G names. Uh, I think he might have left college. Yes, he did. Um, I didn't know how uh, college went for him, but he's not in college anymore. I think he voluntarily left actually because he wanted to, I think it was him. <laughs> he wants to be an author. So he also wanted to write novels and it's going fairly well for him. So that's fine. This is awful. Is there a car honking? Who, who will work? I see. Okay, <laughs> Gavin needs to go to work now that he's married. Fantastic. <laughs> but that should mean John will come home soon. Oh dear. Oh no, 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 someone is fighting. Who's, what is happening? Wasn't, wasn't there fighting going on? Did these two fight? Gallad, Garen Chandler. Well, I don't think anyone saw anything. Okay. That was a family kiss. Uh, if you don't know. No, what? What is happening? I sent you to work. Also, I don't remember who started that car over there. But someone should finish it at some point. <laughs> It looks kind of awful. Well, the party was a success. Good times. Okay. I think John should be up now. We could let me like, call him. Should we call him on a date? That seems smart. If, if she wants to fall in love with him. Oh, I'm sad I scanned for her pregnancy now. <laughs> now there won't be a surprise that she's pregnant, but um, okay. It's fine, I guess. 
She will get her wish. A little newsome baby. Ooh, what did you get? Thanks for the fun note. She also has two... Is this... Oh, okay. She apparently has birthday cakes in her inventory. I don't know. Oh, look at this. This is not for you. This is for Brittany. So she can go view that then. Yes. Wait, will she like gain relationship or something? That? Oh, it's from her. Dear Gavin, I have fun. I hope you know that dating you was good. And you wonder, should I ask again? I <laughs> say we are married. <laughs> no, it said, you, you. I say you should. Love, Brittany. Yeah. Okay, then Gavin should watch this when he gets home. <laughs> I guess. John. Hey, John, you want to go on a date? I'm all single and stuff. Should we do that here? I think he can come over here. Because, like, we have many, many needs. No, 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 don't clean it up. Take a piece. Grab a plate. Who are you? Sandy Fairchild? Why, why are you here? Oh, she just came over to read our newspaper. No big deal. Okay. We also have bills. Apparently. Okay, well, greet John first, I guess. And then, well, now she doesn't want to fall in love with him anymore, but she wants to slow dance with him. I wonder if he will agree to do that? I don't know. She wants to, like, eat something real quick because she... <laughs> In The Sims 2, there's a real risk of Sims dying if the hunger need goes too low, and it's really risky. Uh, later games tone that risk down quite a lot. That's fine. Hmm, their babies will... Um, They will, they will uh, be uh, fairly close in age, but they will probably be friends, little cousins. <laughs> oh, Gavin is the, in the middle of a somewhat amusing joke about airplane food when a heckler from the audience hurls a half-eaten ear from ear of corn. Wait. A heckler from the audience hurls a half-eaten ear of corn onto the stage. I never understand what it's called ear. Weird. Um, knowing that this could make or break the whole act, Gavin has to make a quick choice. Should he throw the corn back at your heckler or pick it up and make a corny joke? I think he should make a joke. He can't just throw things at the audience. So... Gavin picks up the corn and makes a brilliant quip about corn elephants and one-legged monkey with a surly disposition. The audience finds it hilarious and even the heckler laughs, laughs so hard he turns red in the face. Gavin gains a creativity skill point. Well, that's handy. What does he need to be promoted? Nothing. Why isn't he... Why is he still in level one? Maybe he... Only just got this job. I don't know. Where? Wait. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what is this? She wants to... Ginger wants to reach golden anniversary. Anniversary. Uh, with a chosen pause. When this want is fulfilled, this seems... Okay. But how do we do that? 
I think you only need to like be married and then be an elder and then have a party i think i don't know something like that but she will she, she just lost the husband so she might need to um steal this man then i guess <laughs> everyone steals everyone because he's married to jennifer and they just had a baby so, uh, like, that's not nice, Ginger, but he did, uh, he did start it, I think, or something. Georgia isn't at home? Okay, thanks, I'll call later. No, Georgia doesn't live here anymore. <laughs> that's funny that they can, that they call here, anyways. Who's this? Oh, well, well I think... If she wants to gain more skill points, then she could do it. I don't know. Maybe it impresses um, Gavin that she is quite good at logic. Because he's a knowledge sim. So that might be something. <laughs> she wants to become friends with John. Okay. Well, he seems kind of like interested mm -hmm. and he wants to flirt with her mm. and he wants to play with her mm. okay mm. let's play with him mm. which is also something that ginger wants to do so that's perfect play tickle Java. Uh, and grab a plate after because apparently she's hungry again <laughs> and now she wants to flirt with him but well this date will have to be a little bit slow because she has to eat all the time <laughs> uh kiss him i guess no she wanted to flirt but we could do that too flirt charm that's always safe Now they want to make out. What is this propose? Wait, 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 wait. What is happening? Propose. Move in. If he moves in, then we have control over him. He can, and he can leave his spouse. Uh, well, let's kiss him first. And see how it goes. Like, she's still a bit angry with him. It's weird because it was hi him that came over and shoved her. And now she's angry. It's so weird. It feels like someone uh, coded backwards at some point, actually. Oh, she was also very tired, apparently. Oh. Remember to save every now and again. Gordy Babli Manovitsu Kadu. Wait, at some point everyone uh, must have aged up, I think. So we should note that. Gavin is now 30 and... Why isn't Gavin and Ginger the same age in my spreadsheet? Well, I must have made a mistake at some point. Probably Gavin is only 29. I think. It's probably... It gets kind of confusing when they go to college. So, and since Gavin and Ginger was was the same age, um, I think they were. 
Well, he can. It, it's fine if he stays one age, uh, one one year older in my spreadsheet. Actually, I'm just gonna keep it like. <laughs> I may have made a mistake somewhere. I don't know. Yes, okay, Ginger, but stop that now. You're on a date. Go make out with him and see if he wants to move in after that. He's only half angry at him. Maybe we uh, um, apologize again too. He wants to become best friends with Ginger. I wonder what his um, relationship towards her is. It, it, this seems to be going well, doesn't it? So many things. Okay, now they're best friends. So, I'm gonna propose that he- wait, maybe I can't do that. Maybe I cannot do that right now. Because I play them for a little bit longer than I thought I should. They are on Friday morning. Well, they- so John, okay, it's fine, because John passed the Thursday aging up, since he is on Friday morning, and Ginger has also just passed the Thursday aging up, so this will just make John have a little bit extra night time, it, that, is, that is fine, not gonna mess the ages up, so, propose to move in. <laughs> Is he going to bring someone? Well, it was him that wanted the baby that was just born. So he might bring William. Like, obviously, he, he will not be bringing Lucy and Diana because like Lucy is grown up and Diana is her child. Uh, Marshall and Benjamin is his children. But, you know, they might not take too kindly to this affair. So I think he just grabs William and just goes. Even though William is just a baby, so he probably needs his mother, but... It's fine. I think it, he will. He will bring him. There we go. John is moving in with three hundred and fifty-five added to the family. All right. Okay. Well, and now he wants to make out with <laughs> with Ginger. All right. Oh, and Gavin was just promoted to uh, level 2 of his career, birthday party mascot. To gain a little job stability, you have to give up a little dignity. Sure, you have to paint your face each day and perform lame magic tricks, but add a little creativity to your routine and you'll find room to grow. And he made money. So, what does he need to... Well, he's, st he's still, like, eligible for... Uh, promotion and he still wants to learn physiology so i'll just put him to doing that physiology where is it there it is oh he was, he was going to view that card first um so this is kind of weird we have john living in here where did the baby go 
Did the baby not get moved in? Do I have to go out and move low the lot again? Is that how it works? Let's let's try that. Let's see where the baby went. <laughs> uh, I'll spawn him over if uh, if he's not there. See, here he is. Babies in The Sims 2 does not work like Babies in The Sims 4. This would work in The Sims 4, but I don't know if it will work now. Oh well, here's the baby. You can't right click the baby, you need to like figure out where is it? Oh, here he is. <laughs> Floating midair. Okay, well, I'll buy him a crib, I think, because this won't do at all. Uh, we'll put the crib in here. This house will be... This house is getting crowded fast. Um, where is cribs? Do I only have two kinds of cribs? Seems like. Well, let's put one of those down. The date is already a dream date, but he wants to kiss her. Where is it? Kiss, make out. Now John is a level 4 teacher and he makes 600 a day. So I think he's gonna be like, we're gonna have a maid, this won't do at all. <laughs> it's way too messy in here. So he's gonna call service. Because look at this mess. We can't have it like this. And he wants to be on a dream date with... With Ginger. They should just end the date. They have already achieved thing. And the date. He does want to get a promotion. That means he will need some logic. Uh, so he can practice that. We'll see. What does she want? Oh, look, she's already taken care of the baby. She, her mother instincts are kicking in. <laughs> Did I take a single picture of this whole or ordeal with John moving in? I don't know. Wait, did he actually call for a maid? I don't think he did. I don't remember him doing that. He is studying and Ginger wants to get, gain a skill point of some kind. I usually just do something. I don't know. Maybe she wants to have logic too, but she's tired now. We want a maid. That's what we want. Yes. Wait, did I just... Oh. Do you need help cleaning your home? Spick and span. I'll come clean your home every day. I charge a base fee of ten dollars. There's ten simoleons. Yes, it's okay. We have the money. I thought I accidentally just asked for a one-time maid, but apparently that was not an option. <laughs> this household is kind of weird, but... You know, I kind of like it. Now, John, you sit there and ponder like what you just did. <laughs> because look at him. He has four children with Jennifer Burb, his wife. 
And now he just up and left her, took little William with him, and moved in with Ginger. They got three bolts, so it's um, there's logic. But I don't know. Is he is he going to break up with Jennifer now? Like we we'll see if uh, someone gets a wish to like get married or something. But because right now they don't seem to feel the need to. But Ginger over here, she has this. A lifetime wish to reach golden anniversary so she probably wants him to do that at some point Gavin wants to reach the top of his career all right okay that is doable what do you want oh so Brittany wants six grandchildren so she probably wants to have as many babies as she can. What are our sim count now? We, like we have John and Gavin and Ginger and, and Brittany. But uh, both Ginger and Brittany are pregnant. So we're up to six sims. And then we have William. So we are up to seven sims. So after everyone gives birth, uh, <laughs> we can have one more baby. And then this household is full. The cat is peeing on the floor. Oh no. Ginger, do something. Because the, the rest of them are busy. Scold for peeing on the floor and mop this up. She, uh, they should be, they should all be sleeping. It's in the middle of the night. She can go back to bed, I guess. John gained a logic skill point. No, he doesn't need any more of those. He does need a cleaning skill point. But I think he should also sleep. Uh, is he not allowed to sleep in there? Because it's not his bed because I have a mod. Mm. Maybe it's Randy's bed still. Mm. Oh dear. Mm. Yes, okay. Mm. That's, that's fine, John. Stop that. <laughs> Why is that happening? Oops. Is the baby coming now? Yep, the baby is coming now. Wait. Oh, okay. Um, we don't know who the father is. And I don't think... I don't know if jo Ginger knows. <laughs> so what we'll do is... We will find this website <laughs> and we will like just randomize either. There we go. So if it's a boy, it's going to be Victor. I don't think I have a Victor. Really good. Um, I don't know if I'm ever want to name a, a girl Laxmi. Uh, Juliet, that's pretty. Oh, okay, so Victor or Juliet, I think Ginger uh, would choose those names. I think. Let's save in, in case something happens. <laughs> you never know. She's afraid that she will get caught cheating. With who? She's not married or anything. I don't know. Here comes the baby now. Oh. I 
want this animation every time. Brown hair and brown eyes. And it's a girl. What did I say? Juliet? I think so. Juliet. Oops. All right. Well, this this will be a strange picture, I guess. I need to add her to my spreadsheet. It's uh, or my <clears throat> family tree. I also need to add her to my spreadsheet, but uh, no, 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 no. Oh, Ginger is not even in here. Uh, but we have, we do have Gavin, and we can add a sister <clears throat> called Ginger Newson, and she. Uh, well. She is female. There we go. And then mother of Gavin. And we don't know that. Was I not allowed to add a brother without add adding a mother? That's annoying. Like if if that is the case, then I guess we'll just keep them like that. <laughs> we don't know their mothers and fathers. But Ginger, wait, we can check now. Who is the father of this baby? Ginger had a baby with, with John. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Well, I suspected that, but I wasn't sure. So we're going to add a child without a partner because it's uh, how we do it in this. Uh, this is familyecho.com, by the way. It's, uh, I really recommend it. Juliet Newson. And she is female and she is alive. And then we go and edit her parents and set John Burb as the father. There. Now, now we're in this mess. <laughs> and we can, we just took a photo of her so I can add that. These are just temporary. I, I'm I'm, I'm uh, updating photos whenever someone is getting older. But it was a long time that someone got older. Also, I I do believe I some somewhere I have a better photo of Alexander. But you know, what just happened? There we go. Yes, here we are. <laughs> okay. Little Juliet. Oh dear, her, um, she got named London. I'll fix that in CMP later. She is uh, still named London. Well, um, she's new on in my spreadsheet. It's fine. Okay, now we need another crib, don't we? Uh, we'll put that in here as well. We'll just put a uh, same. I can they walk past here? I hope so. We'll try. Uh, John just had a baby and now he wants 10 babies. 10 children, but it doesn't align with his lifetime wants. So I'm not gonna lock that in, but it's really many uh, points. Does someone have a reward? No, nobody. Huh, well, like 10 kids, he ha he has five, so that is, oh my god, <laughs> Juliet and William is practically twins, age-wise, okay, okay, 
Well, um, that's fine. Pudding crib, Juliet. Oh, uh, John adjust bed ownership on this bed. And <laughs> come see baby. Uh, well, or, or, or don't, you know. Can you sleep in it now? No, because he's not tired. That's why. All right. Well, you can like say hi to the baby after he goes to the toilet, I guess. Yeah, they're they're having babies like rabbits or something. <laughs> oh, she think. Oh, oh, she's breastfeeding. Oh. Now what does she want? She wants to gain a skill point, she wants to buy a changing table and buy a baby toy. We should do that. Where do we put changing tables? We could have one out here, I guess. Uh, where is it? I should make more recolors of this. I'm tired of these colors. I have a green one. There we go. And a baby toy it was. Is this a baby toy? Is this a baby toy? I don't know. Do we even have room? This sofa was only put here so, <laughs> so that Randy could sleep on it. I don't know. Wait. Her... She is good with cooking, mechanical, and cleaning. Hmm. I thought like maybe if she was good at creativity we'd, we'd do this one, or charisma this one, or logic this one. Like... But I'm, I'm gonna buy the xylophone just because there is no xylophone in The Sims 4. Okay. That didn't satisfy the want though. No. So I need to... I need to probably pick one of these. I don't know if that's where we want to keep it. There. There we go. And now she wants to study about parenting and that is logical. It's in the middle of the night, but you know, when you have a baby, night and day does it has no meaning. <laughs> Oh, I also need to move John to, let's see, he was in the Burb family, but now he's in the Newsom family and they have an order number of 63. So John and William have 63. And also, it has become Friday for, for uh, the entire household now. There. Um, that went astray. <laughs> there we go. Well, that was an eventful day, I think. So I'm going to end the stream now. And we'll see if we can find someone to raid as usual.
Um, oh, me. Minosimo is playing Sims 2 actually, so we'll raid her and <laughs> you will have a super duper time until next time and I hope to see you all again soon and stay safe and take care and everything and goodbye.